hello guys this is santosh and uh, welcome to tech design so hope everyone is doing great so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can make an assembly of this tripod so in this video i'm going to make an assembly of uh, particular components so let's get started so now what i will do is i will just go to new file so as soon as i hit a new file a window will open so here i'm going to select an assembly so assembly if you want you can just give the name for any assembly so what i'll do is i'll just click ok for that whatever the name that is existing so now it is asking me to you know um, place the components so i'll just go to open and i'll just uh, you know select all the components over here in uh, uh, where i have shaved, saved all these things so part 1 to part 10 i am just going to open that all and i'll just click ok so now as you can see here all the components are available uh, with me for in work coordinators so this is one advantage where you can open all the components and keep it uh, uh, in your part navigator so i'll just pin this okay so here is my part navigator and um, so all the components are loaded here as you can see here all the components are loaded so in this case what we can do is uh, we can uh, you know start assembling one by one so instead of opening uh, instead of adding components one by one it will take a lot of time so you can just make Make sure that all the components are loaded at a time so now what i'll do is uh, i need a fifth component uh, part five so that uh, i will start uh, you know make a assembly so now as you can see here this is my part so this is my first part which i am going to constrain it uh, by using uh, either i can constrain it or else i can uh, make an uh, fix for this so since this is the first component so someone has asked me how we can you know um, constrain this component uh, you know uh, uh, instead of fixing it so i'll just show you how we can do that so what you can do is you can just go to here and uh, um, one uh, create in one uh, coordinate system so this is my coordinate system i'll just click ok for this so now we can see here this is my coordinate system and it is available over here and now what i'll do is i'll just uh, constrain this fifth component by using these coordinate system so instead of fixing these components i am going to make a constraint for the first component as well so what I'll do is I'll just go to uh, assembly constraint here and I'm going to have align lock so you should know uh, why align lock is selected instead of this center axis uh, why I'm going to select this uh, align lock so you should have known uh, when we are already discussed in assembly constraint tutorials so I'm going to select this align lock and I'm going to select this center line and that should be aligned with y axis so i have just aligned this so now as you can see here it is partially constrained so i just wanted to know how uh, it is constrained so we can just right click and show degrees of freedom so now as you can see here along this direction only translating axis is uh, showing so it has a translation movement along this uh, y axis so we need to restrict that so how we can restrict this so now we can see here there is a face we have and also there is a plane here so with this plane we can just give zero uh, distance or else we can just align them so by doing that uh, the you know moment along this y axis will be constrained so i'll just go to uh, assembly constraint and now what i'll do is i'll just take a distance so distance between this point to this plane should be zero so i'll just give zero and now it is done so now as you can see instead of fixing this component i uh, have already you know constrained this uh, the first component by using this coordinate system now uh, we don't need this coordinate system we can just go to part navigator and hide this okay so by hiding this the constraint will be as it is so it will not uh, affect any any of your constraints so next component is my fourth component so this is my fourth component so actually it is on here so i just need to bring it over here and then constrain it so what i'll do is i'll just go to assembly constraint in the same way align lock i'll just provide this center line and this center line so i'll just click ok so this component has to uh, come below this whatever the handle we have here so what i'll do is i'll just go to move command right click and move and i'll just move it downwards so you can see here just i'm just moving it downward so now it has come to down so now if i check the degrees of freedom for this the same thing along this y axis there is a translation axis so now what i'll do is i'll just uh, update the display so once you do update display uh, whatever that show degrees of freedom that is shown it will be cleared 
now uh, let me go to part file so this is as an assembly constraint and now what i'll do is i'll just give the distance between these two so now go to distance and i'm going to select this face and this face so the distance between these two should be 430 mm so i'm going to hit 430 and i'll just click okay <clears throat> so now as you can see here the part 5 is uh, 4 is completely constrained as you can see here uh, it's completely constrained so now the next component is part 6 so what i'll do is i'll just take this part as you can see here now i want this component to be you know above this whatever the dark uh, cylinder we have here so I'll, what i'll do is i'll just go to con assembly constraint again and here align lock again so no i am not going to go for align lock why i am going to tell you later so i am going to select this center line and this center line okay so now the center line is fixed and now if we check the degrees of freedom so it is having a wrong rotation here so because we have not selected the align lock so this whatever the rotation uh, is there it is not constrained so if we select an align lock uh, it will be constrained only we will have this translation so now we have a both so let me keep it as it is so now what i will do is i will just bring this top by moving it component so move component and now using a dynamic method i'll just move it topward so it should be just above this one so i'll just give the distance between these two faces as 11 mm so now what i'll do is i'll just go to here and assembly constraint now the distance so distance between this face to this face it is 11 mm so i'll just give 11 mm and i'll just click ok so if you see from the front view you can see there is a 11 mm of distance okay so now why i did not uh, you know uh, constrain this along the rotation is so whatever the you know uh, the holes that are here so it should match with whatever the holes that are here so because there will be one handle which comes over here so to match that i have to uh, match these two so how we can do that so we can just give a parallel constraint so i'll just go to assembly constraint here and go to parallel and then i'm going to select this face and the same way we can just select this face okay and just click okay so now it is completely constrained so part 6 is completely constrained so now what i'll do is i'll just make a uh, top view so once you go to top view as you can see here this is the component which we have just uh, you know um, assembled so it is exactly matching with these these handles so that we can give uh, one extra handle here it will match uh, exactly okay so now uh, the next component is eight component so this we have to uh, assemble so now as you can see here this is an uh, handle here which comes over here so what i'll do is i'll just go to move component and uh, let me move this component to this position so that it will be easy for me to assemble okay okay so now what i'll do is i'll just go to assembly constraints and here is the perfect you know prefer touch so go to this center line and this center line okay so these two center line matched and then now this face to this face okay so now as you can see in the from the top view you can see this it's exactly matching so now you can just click ok so now uh, when you check the part 8 uh, degrees of freedom it will have a rotation along this center line so we can keep that center line rotation as it is so we will constrain it later so now uh, i have to uh, you know constrain the same thing uh, in all the three you know um, places available here so what i'll do is i'll just select this and control c control v so which will paste it here so i'll unpack it and the same way i'm just going to do it again so i need three components so i'll just um, you know selected this and pasted two times okay so here uh, this is partially constrained but these two are not constrained so you you should not select this and uh, move it uh, at this location so make sure that whatever that is constrained it has to be there only so we can just hide that and now whatever we have copied we can just move it to its location so now what i'll do is i'll just move handle only and i'll just keep my handle over here and i'll just remove this and i'll just rotate it okay 
and in the same way I will do this for as well. So it has to come over here. So now what I'll do is I'll just go to this part and assembly constraints. So whatever this constraint should become over here and this face should touch with this face. Click OK. So let us keep uh, one constraint as it is. So later we can constrain it. So now again for this, go to assembly constraints. Select this center line and this center line and this face with this face. Okay. So now as you can see here, this is an arrow here which is showing the degrees of freedom. You can just right click and update display so it will disappear. Okay, so now uh, the next component we have is a third part. So part three. So here is the part. So this we have to, you know, assemble it over here. So for that, what I'll do is I'll just go to part three and let me move this part uh, at its position. So what I'll do is only handle and I'll select this. Let me move it until here. Okay. So now as you can see here, the part has come near. So let us keep, click OK and it has to be rotated. Let me rotate it. OK. So now go to assembly constraints and now I'll just queue this center and from 2 to 2. So this face and this face should be centered to this face and this face okay so if you're not understanding this please check the assembly tutorial okay so now next again assembly constraints and i'll just go to prefer touch i'll just select this center line and with this center line. okay so now it has come so now the thing is like so this is also having a rotation along this axis so if i check it here show degrees of freedom so this is along this uh, rotation along this axis and our eighth component what is this this is also having rotation along this axis so now we have to align this uh, whatever the center line here with this center line so that both the, uh, you know both the components will be completely constrained so what i'll do is i'll just go to assembly constraints and i'll just keep it as a preferred touch so I'm going to select this and this. So as soon as you select this and I'll just click OK and update display. Now you can see the eighth part, which is this is completely constrained and also the third part, which is completely constrained. So in the similar way, uh, this side as well as this side we have to do. So let me show this component. Okay. Okay. In the similar way, what I can do is I'll just, uh, you know, make copy of this. So control C control v and control v you can see three parts are com uh, come here so i'll just unpack so do not touch this component because it is already constrained so we are we need to work on these two so now what i'll do is i'll just move this and the easiest method to move is like i just wanted to move the handle so this handle i'll keep it as over here and the direction is along this direction and I'll remove the move handle and now rotate it so we we got one hand one component over here the other component also same thing we have to do okay so now the thing is like we need to constrain them so we just moved it from one position to another position so now we need to constrain by using assembly constraints so go to assembly constraint and center and now we have to select these two center lines with these two center lines okay now it is completely centered and now we go we can go to this preferred touch so whatever this axis we have should be aligned with this axis okay so okay so since one more uh, you know mm, rotation along this axis is existing so how we can constrain this by using this slot so we'll just go to assembly constraint over here 
and prefer touch select this and this center line okay so now it is completely constrained and as well as this is completely constrained okay so now we are left with this one so update display okay so now go to assembly constraint again and center line so it's these two should be centered with these two okay so we can just click ok and again go to that and prefer touch okay same way i'm going to do it here okay so now it's perfect so now the next component we have is uh, the second part so this part so this part will come and sit over here inside so we can just move it either you can move it or else directly i'll just constrain it because the the orientation is same so this should be in the top side and this should be in the bottom side and we are our main assembly is also same same way so we don't need to move it we can just directly constrain it so we can just go to center line axis over here and as well as here and now uh, you can give some distance between these two so what i'll do is i'll just go to distance between these two so this distance so i can keep it as uh, 2200 and okay so now you can see here see this is having an again uh, an a rotation along this axis so in order to restrict that we can give a line lock line lock between this center line and this center line okay so now it is completely constrained so 2200 is the distance that we have provided here so in the same way we have to provide in all the other side so i guess the component has come to to here maybe 2200 is very too much so let me reduce it 1700 okay that's good so now it is up to here component okay so the same way uh, we need uh, two more components here so in that how we can do uh, either you can go to add assembly and uh, say select the same component or else we can just see control c and control v one time control v two times okay unpack this and do not touch this one these two we have to work so first let us move this so now we don't need to rotate it so we can directly go for assembly constraints and let me hide these two and this is the one i'm showing so assembly constraints go here and select this sorry okay let me delete whatever the constraint that we have given so i'm going to delete this so now assembly constraints and select this center line so let me keep it as prefer touch so okay so this has been given and now we have to provide a distance of uh, 1700 i guess okay so a line lock we need to provide so let me give an align lock for this line lock to this center line and this center line okay so now as you can see here it is con completely constrained so now this component i have to move <coughs> so some code assembly constraint and now itself i am going to select uh, align lock so align lock with this with this handle and now we'll have a distance from this to this face that is 1700 click ok so now let me show the which are the hidden part here okay so now as you can see here this is done so now what i will do is uh, the next component is part one so this i have to uh, locate so it has to be located at this position with some distance so what i'll do is uh, just uh, copy it two times 
okay so we have a three items here so let me hide two and show one so this i have two position now so go to assembly constraint again and align lock so this should become here and there should be some distance so go to distance and select this top face with this bottom face so let me give us 100 mm 100 or 200 yeah 200 is fine so i can give 200 <coughs> so in the same way this is completely constrained so part one again here so this has to come here so go to assembly constraint and align lock so select this center line and this center line and now go to distance distance between these two this it is 200 mm then just click ok <coughs> same way show this part one and go to assembly constraints and center line unlock okay so between these two sorry okay now the distance between this and this it is 200 okay it's done now so now as you can see the bottom part of complete is it is done so we were uh, whatever the tripod is it is looking good so now we have a you know top portion so top portion what we can do is uh, we will have first part 9 here so this is the part so this has to come and fit over here so what i'll do is i'll just go to assembly constraint and prefer touch so whatever this center line it is there it has to come over here okay so now let me move that component a little bit near <laughs> okay so now uh, whatever this face is there it has to touch this face so let us give the assembly constraint for this so go to prefer touch and this face has to touch with this face okay and then whatever these uh, lines are there so this should be parallel with this face should be parallel with this face so i'm going to give this face and this face okay so now this is completely constrained so now we have uh, part 7 so this is the part 7 so this has to come and so no, uh, now we have a part 10 so let us show that part 10 okay this has to come and uh, sit on this place so what i'll do is i'll just go to assembly constraints and i'm going to select this center line and i'm going to select this center line now sorry there is a distance here so i'll just delete this and let us go to a prefer touch so select this center line and this center line okay now it is good and also i just need to touch these two faces so this face should touch with this face okay and also i should give some parallel uh, no, constraint so this should be parallel with this face so now it is completely constrained as you can see here <coughs> so now we have a last component so this is part uh, 7 so it comes in between these two and it will fit over here so let us give constraint for that so go to constraints and select uh, center line and here as well there is a center line okay so now whatever the, this face we have it has to touch here so go to prefer touch and select this face and this face now uh, this is having one uh, you know rotation along this axis so how we can constrain is we can just provide a align lock for this go to assembly constraint and align lock this to whatever this edge okay 
so once you click ok now as you can see here all the components are completely constrained so this is what we have uh, you know our uh, tripod which is assembled properly <coughs> So now uh, some of the hints I have just wanted to give so now as you can see here the part 3 part 3 everywhere it is there you can just right click and uh, pack all so once you do pack all uh, you will have uh, you know components that are packed so now as you can see part 1 we have 3 quantities part 2 we have 3 quantities part 3 we have 3 quantities and part 8 we have 3 quantities so in the same way <coughs> In the same way uh, you can just you know uh, unpack them and uh, check whether all the components are uh, completely constrained so in this uh, tutorial uh, one main advantage is like uh, we have done the first component uh, is you know um, constrained by using this uh, datum plane so it should not be deleted so if this deleted uh, everything whatever we have all the constraint so everything will collapse so i'll just show you so i'm going to delete this now so if you go here now see now as you can see here all the components will have partially constrained now so that is why uh, it is always recommended to have a first component fixed or else uh, you, you just make sure that this comp this whatever the coordinate system that is existing it should not be deleted so hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys please subscribe to my channel thank you